When we think about combining our passions with careers, this next presenter comes to mind. Born and raised in Fishtown, this founder of Streets Department, not to be confused with the city agency where you complain about your trash not being picked up, he's someone who uses his art for good in our city. His SEPTA 24-7 campaign pushed our local transit agency to reintroduce overnight weekend subway service. After the 2016, woo, yeah, that deserves. <laughs> After the 2016 presidential election, he organized Signs of Solidarity, an inauguration day public art protest in opposition to hate and messages that divide our diverse, beautiful city. This photo blogger, curator, and podcaster explores art in our public space. Also, like most importantly, he recently beat out the one and only Gritty to win the Never Delete Your Account Award at the annual, first ever annual, Billy Penn Awards, the Billies. So with that, the man who can beat Gritty, which I mean, how can you even do that? Please welcome Conrad Benner to the stage. Um, let me make this higher because I'm so dumbly tall. Well, I beat Gritty because I don't think they could afford Gritty to come to that event. So it's <laughs> truly pretty easy to beat Gritty. That's how you beat them with money. Um, <laughs> you know, we're here for, we're here because of a blog, right? Julie started a blog about sustainability, about being green in the city. And I'm here because of a blog. Um, so I don't have a long speech, I just want to say that, you know, we all have incredible tools at our, disposable, at our disposal, uh, and they're, listen, I got a big glass of wine, and I, I thought you were going for a few more, I didn't know you were just one, must be nice. Um, so, we have incredible tools at our disposal, um, a lot of them are free tools, once you have the phone in your pocket, uh, and you can use social media to advocate for things, and to build community, and to create change. And I did that um, in part with SEPTA 247, working for about a year to petition SEPTA to have the trains run all night. I mean, I've lived in Philly my whole life. Every job I've had has been you know, after hours, and you either have to take a cab or wait for the night owl bus. Raise your hand if you've waited for a night owl bus in this room. Right? Not fun. Um, and more recently, I started a petition um, sort of against uh, using our public space to sell Starbucks. Um, which a lot of people signed. Uh, there's a new Starbucks in our Dilworth Park. Yeah, raise your hand if you signed that petition. Okay. Oh, I'm among friends. Hi. <laughs> <clears throat> so, you know, one thing I try to do with the blog, and it has evolved over the years. Listen, my blog started as a street art blog. I talked about wheat paste and yarn bombs. Um, and as it's grown, I talk more and more about how we use the public space, right? Like how we as the, the, the collective we, how we use the public space. Um, and so it hurts, it makes, it bums me out when we use the public space to sell Starbucks, and I hope that we can find a better solution one day, um, even though I understand that that's a solution for the moment.